so guys, I think it was Christoph who, who mentioned it uh, when I was trying to explain you to not use the chamfer in that way. Uh, maybe some of you didn't hear it or simply you were in a different group. So uh, I refer to the use of chamfer, okay, because then it was adding edges here and if I have my turbo smooth, then it was actually making it uh, a hard mesh in there and not really making it soft. Okay, so uh, what he mentioned, and I think you should know, in case it, it works for your model, is that uh, I can have different selection and smoothing groups. So um, if I um, make the tension smaller, let's say I have, this would be my final object, maybe I would just put it like that, you know. Uh, this is still taking these edges here and it's looking uh, weird. Okay, so what I want to happen is um, on the smoothing group, I can put it in the uh, unsmoothened edges, okay? Uh, sorry, unsmoothed edges. And so it's just gonna take actually what I want it to be smooth. So at this point, I wouldn't add a turbo smooth because it's just as finished as it can be, okay? So probably what I would uh, do is just uh, actually take this, down to just uh, two edges and take the tension out uh, to one. Uh, sorry. So what it's doing is actually adding the extra edges that I needed, okay? If I make this down to a, um, um, a poly-editing, maybe I would have problems here because usually this loop will continue, okay? But let's check what happens if I have my turbo smooth. Then the mesh is actually quite clean. Okay, so again, uh, I don't want this to actually be smoothened out. I want it to be in zero. Okay, and what it's doing is adding the extra edge that I will probably have added by myself. So, two smooth. 